Hello, I'm Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favourite shortcut in the whole of Microsoft Office. This could be one of those life-changing moments for you. To see more videos like this, then please click subscribe. I'm going to jump into the content now, but please stay tuned right to the very end because I have a question for you. Are you ready? Let's go. So I'm going to show you my favourite shortcut in the whole of Microsoft Office. Maybe I need to get out a bit more. But what I want to be able to do, I want to move this paragraph that's highlighted in red with the red text, I want to move it further up the page. Now I know that you're all thinking, that's just some copy and paste Tony, uh, but copy and paste uh, sometimes can be a bit tricky, it can be a bit fiddly, you have to make space for it, and things like that. But here's a great shortcut for you. So all you do is just put your cursor anywhere in that paragraph, and then using your left hand, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and then push the up arrow. Look at that. How amazing is that? You just simply move it up or down. It also works with numbering. So I've got a numbered paragraph here, and if I move it up, it will adjust the numbering. It works really well with tables. So you've got a table and you want to manually change the order of that table. You can move the rows. Just click anywhere in the cell and push the same shortcut key, Alt, Shift and Up. You can also use it in PowerPoint, it's the same idea, Alt, Shift and Up, and you can move that paragraph up or down. You can use it in an Outlook email. The same shortcut doesn't work in Excel, but if you do want to move the rows manually in Excel, all you do is just simply highlight the row, put your mouse pointer on the edge of the highlighted area, and then using the Shift key, just drag that row up, or you can drag it down. And there we have it, my favourite shortcut. Was that a life-changing moment for you? Let me know in the comments. Hi, thanks for staying tuned. Here's my question. So in today's video, we did Alt, Shift, and up and down to move the text. But what happens if we press Alt, Shift, and then left or right? Let me know in the comments, let me know how you get on, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.